All right, let's now talk about keywords. For those of you who will be uploading apps to the iOS App Store, this is probably the most important part about ASO. Which is not to say that you shouldn't focus on the other parts, not at all. Just that you need to get this one absolutely 100% right. The things that count for your search results in the iOS App Store are the title and the keywords, right? So the description is not searchable. So the keywords are very, very important. If you're uploading to Google Play, it's also very important to figure out what your keywords are going to be and then use them in the description. Google Play does not have a keyword field as such, so like you don't write the keywords explicitly, but you need to figure out which ones they are and include them in the description because in Google, the description is searchable and that is the main way in which Google ranks your app in search results. But we will look at that on the next couple of videos. Now let's talk about optimizing keywords. Apple gives you 100 characters with which to write the keywords, so make sure to use them wisely. You want to have as many keywords as possible to increase your chances of being found. So there are a couple of things that you can do to make this happen. First of all, Apple asks you to separate each keyword with a comma. That's fine, but please don't use spaces between the commas, right? So like you have a hundred characters and each keyword needs to be separated by the comma. So just don't put a space in there. You will lose a lot of characters. You may end up gaining one or two more extra keywords. We don't care about proper grammar here. We care about space. Okay, the second one is that you shouldn't use phrases as a keyword. Use single words. For example, if you wanted to use running stick figure as a keyword, don't do it. You should instead make three keywords like this. Running, comma, stick, comma, figure. And the third thing you can do is to try to avoid using long words as much as possible. For example, instead of putting extraordinary, Maybe you could write epic or great or something like that. This is obviously not an unbreakable rule. If it's necessary that you have a long keyword, that's fine. But just try to keep most of them short because that will give you more opportunity of having a larger amount of keywords. Another key thing is uniqueness and competition. So you don't want to use keywords that thousands of other apps are using. You want something unique or relatively unique. Right, so go to the App Store or Google Play and start typing keywords and see how many results you get for each. Feel free to also type small phrases. You can also go to appani.com and do your keyword research in there. Play around with it until you feel comfortable with the keywords you have. Remember what we talked about on the last video. It's better to be on the first three results of a medium search phrase than in the 200th place of a very popular search phrase. Right, so I do most of my keyword research on Sensor Tower and App Annie. Right, so both of them are pretty easy to use and they have a lot of really useful features. So definitely go to both, have a look and just start playing around with them. I find it a lot easier to do the keyword research in these places than in the App Store. Now, regarding the popularity of keywords, let me show you an example that I found back when I was learning how to do ASO. Right, so let's say that you have these keywords here. You want to make a game, but you're still not sure what will be the best way to approach the game. So this is even before you finalize your app, right? This is when you're planning your app. Imagine that you go and search for racing game, fighting game, laser game, all of these ones, right? So all of these are search queries. And then you get your search results for racing game, for fighting game, they're over a hundred, laser game is 90, wheels is more than a hundred, robots and like that, right? So all of these ones, they have a lot of search results. So they're not good because there's a lot of competition. You want something that is a bit more unique. So you would have a look at these ones down here. For example, you have robots on wheels, robot game, sexy robots and fighter robots. So these ones are good. Now, if you have a look at fighter robots, it only has five. So that means that it's probably not searched a lot. It doesn't mean that it's not searched a lot. It can just be a clue that it's not searched a lot. In here, I would probably recommend that you go have and look, maybe do some trend research and find out if people are actually searching for these because if they are, it could be a great opportunity. There's not a lot of competition. But in here, let's just say that it's, you know, it has a small result count because not a lot of people are searching. So you would also get rid of that one. You want something that is, you know, relatively well searched, but it doesn't have a lot of competition. So what would your keywords be? Your keywords would be robots, on wheels game and sexy 
right? So you wouldn't have robots and wheels, comma, robot game, comma, sexy robots. No, these would be your keywords because those are the keywords that you used in the search phrases. And this is just the basic idea of how keyword research works. If you can do keyword research before you even decide on what your app is going to be, it will help you a lot when you reach the app store optimization part after you finish your app.